Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Kim from the Owensville Library and this is my friend Gabby Goat and we're here to tell you a story about the three Billy Goats Gruff. But before we start that, let's go ahead and sing our hello song. Do you want to sing the hello song, Gabby? Gabby loves to sing, so here we go. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine and I hope that you are too. Okay, another real important song for us to sing and another song that Gabby loves to sing is the ABC songs because it's very important when you're getting ready to read that you know the names of your letters. So if you know the ABC song, sing with us. Are you ready, Gabby? Okay, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we said our ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay, that was pretty good, Gabby. They did pretty good, didn't they? All right. Well, today I told you we're going to tell a story about the three Billy Goats Gruff. And our letters for today are G. This is G, and do you know what that stands for, Gabby? She does. It stands for goat and Gabby. Both start with the letter G. Do any of you know of anything out there that starts with the letter G? There are lots of things that start with letter G. And our other letter is the letter B, and that's for Billy and Billy Goat, and also for bridge, because we're going to talk about a bridge. All right. Those are our letters for today, G and B. And now we're going to tell the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. We're also going to learn some, that sometimes words stand for sounds. And there's a sound that I'm going to have you help me make when we tell the story. And it goes like this. Let me put it up here for you so you can see what it looks like. And every time I say this, I want you to say it with me. You think they'll say it with us, Gabby? I think they will. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip. Trap. Can you say that with me? Here we go. One more time. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Okay, we'll leave that up there to remind us to say that every time. So here we go. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats, and they were all named Gruff. There was little billy goat Gruff, and there was middle size billy goat Gruff. And then there was Big Billy Goat Gruff. And they loved to eat fresh, delicious grass. So one day they saw that there was some nice grass across the bridge. So little Billy Goat Gruff said, I'm going to go over there and get some delicious grass. So here he goes on the bridge. And what sound does he make? Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. And just as he got on the bridge, he heard this sound. Who's that walking on my bridge? Oh, it's okay, Gabby. He won't hurt you. He's not going to get you. It's just a story. It's just make-believe. Okay, Gabby was a little scared there for a minute. Okay, it's just me, little Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going across the bridge to eat some fresh, delicious grass. No, you're not. I am going to eat you. No, no, Mr. Troll, don't eat me. My brother, Middle Billy Goat Gruff, is coming over next, and he is much bigger and much meatier than me. Okay, then, you better get going. So here he goes, trip, trap, trip, trap, over to the other side to eat the delicious grass. Next along comes, you guessed it, Middle Billy Goat Gruff. He goes across the bridge, Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. And who does he hear? The big troll. You aren't going to be scared again, are you, Gabby? No, she's not scared. She knows he's not real. Who's that walking on my bridge? It is me, Middle Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the other side to eat some fresh, delicious grass. No, you're not, because I'm going to eat you. You don't want to eat me, Mr. Troll. My brother, Big Billy Goat Gruff, will be coming next, and he is much bigger and much meatier than I am. Okay, but you better hurry, because I'm getting very hungry. So here goes Middle Billy Goat Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, 
trap over to the other side to join his brother. Pretty soon, along comes big Billy Goat Gruff. And he goes trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap across the bridge. And who do you think he hears? That troll again. Who's that trip trapping on my bridge? It's me, big Billy Goat Gruff. Oh, I've been waiting for you. I'm going to come up and eat you. You just come up here and try, Mr. Troll. So tr Mr. Troll comes up from out from under the bridge and all of a sudden we hear, pow, take that, wham. And big Billy Goat Gruff knocks that troll right off the bridge down into the water and they never see him again. And Big Billy Goat Gruff goes all the way to the other side to enjoy the fresh, delicious grass with his brothers. They never did see that big old mean troll again. They scared him away, didn't they? Yep. Gabby Goat's glad they scared him away because she was afraid of that big mean troll. And that is the story of the three Billy Goat Gruff. Well, when you're telling a story or reading a story, a way to make sure you understood what you're reading is to retell it again. So we're going to do that with a song because Gabby Goat loves to sing. So here we go. You guys, um, we'll sing it first and then you guys sing it with us. Here we go. The little goat on the bridge goes clippity-clop, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. The little goat on the bridge goes clippity-clop over the big mean troll. Now that you know how it goes, let's do the middle billy goat. Here we go. The little, the middle billy goat on the bridge goes trip, trap, trip, trip, trap, trip, trip, trap, trip. The middle billy goat on the bridge goes trip, trap, trip, over the big mean troll. Next, we're gonna sing about the big billy goat. Here we go. And he goes stomp, stomp, stomp. So you stomp when you sing this one, okay? The big billy goat on the bridge goes stomp, 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 stomp. The big billy goat on the bridge goes stomp, 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 over the big mean troll. Yay! Good singing! All right, well I'm gonna put Gabby Goat down now because we're gonna read another fun story about another, he's a little monster guy, a little purple monster, and he looks like this because the troll is kind of a monster kind of character, but this one is not mean. And the name of this book is called Don't Push the Button by Bill Cotter. All right, let's see what happens in this book. Hi, my name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There is only one rule. Don't push that button. So what is his name? Larry, that's right. This monster's name's Larry. Seriously, don't even think about that pushing that button. Do you think we should push it? No, he told us not to. We better not. It does look pretty nice, though. I wonder what would happen if we pushed it. What do you think might happen? Do you think balloons might shoot up out of the book? I don't know. We better not push it. We better not find out. No, we can't. We mustn't. Do you think we should push it? No. Psst. No one is looking. You should give that button just one little push. You think we should push it? Here we go. We're going to push the button. Uh-oh. Nothing happened. Let's turn the page. Oh, no. We turned Larry yellow. Ah, oh, I'm yellow. Push it again. Let's push it again. See if we can turn him back to purple. Oh no, eek, now I'm yellow with polka dots. Push it twice this time, help me count, here we go. One, two, let's see what happens. Oh. Ah, now there's two of me. Push it a whole bunch of times. How many times do you think we should push it? Eight, okay, let's push it eight times. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what happened. Uh-oh. Look at all those Larrys. We pushed the button too many times. Shake this book to get rid of all the extra Larrys. Let's shake it. Can you help me shake? Shake. Shake. Help me shake the book. Here we go. Let's see if they went away. Um, almost. Let's shake it a little bit more. Here we go. Shake some more. Shake a little bit more. There we go. Okay. There we go. It says here to scratch Larry's tummy to get him back to normal. You ready to help me scratch his tummy? Reach in there and let's scratch his tummy. I bet it's going to tickle. Here we go. Let's scratch his tummy. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, much better. There he is, all back to normal. Let's not push that button anymore. But that was kind of fun. Maybe just a couple of more pushes. Here we go. One, two. Oh no, what's going to happen this time? The end. Larry's got all kinds of little Larry friends. That was a fun book, wasn't it? Did you like that book, Gabby Goat? I think Gabby Goat liked that. She was down here listening while we were reading it. There are also some other fun books that you might want to read too. Should we tell them about those, Gabby? Yeah, let's grab them back here. Here's another book called Grumpy Goat. And you'll find out what makes him grumpy and then what makes him happy when he's not grumpy anymore. There are also some other stories about the three billy goats gruff. Here are two right here, and these tell the same story we told, only a little bit differently. So it's fun to read the same story and read them differently. And we have two other ones that might be fun for you to read. I'm going to put Gabby down here so I can reach them. I'll let her sit on my lap. And that one's called Goat's Coat, and it's about a very helpful little goat, and he gives everybody a piece of his coat till he doesn't have one anymore, and then you'll find out what happens. And the Greedy Goat. What happens when you get very greedy? Well, that's kind of like what happened to our mean troll. Remember, he wanted to wait for the biggest goat and it didn't work out very well for him. Well, when greedy goats gets greedy, it doesn't work out very well for him either. So that's another one. And then one more fun thing that you might wanna do to help with your story is build your own bridge, like the bridge that the goats went across and see how if you can get a big thing, a little thing, or how big you can get on your bridge. I made a little bridge like this, and I just made it out of popsicle sticks and clothespins. And I did the clothespins like this, and then you just lay the popsicle sticks over it. But you might want to use building blocks or wooden blocks, whatever you have at home. My bridge isn't going to stand up very well, but you can use whatever you have and then just put things on it and see how well your bridge works. So that's kind of like doing a science experiment. So that's all we have today. Gabby and I thank you for joining us for our Billy Goat Scruff story time and happy reading and don't forget to sign up for summer reading. Bye everybody.